teacher at the Waterville Alternative High School. And today, my kids and I are gonna show you um, the new uh, Art For All kits um, that we have a really nice project for you guys. And the project's inspired by an artist, and his name is Bernard Langley. So I thought I'd start by coming here to his house and showing you some of his real sculptures. So this is what we're gonna kind of make, only just one animal. You see all the different animals on here? This is what we're going to make out of our kits. Um, and this is called a relief. So a relief starts on one flat surface, but instead of being a flat painting, it's sort of sculptural and it starts to reach out and grab you. So that's what we're gonna make, not out of wood, which is what Bernard Langley loved to use, um, and not this big, but maybe someday you can make something just as big. So quick show you around, quick let's get a view of his house, and we'll show you some of his sculptures. Hey everybody, we're back from our visit to Bernard Langley's uh, home in Cushing, Maine. The directions how to get there, his address is all in the packet. And um, if you can't make it all the way to Cushing, you can still see his artwork only 15 minutes away in Skowhegan. And if you go online, um, you will find the map that tells you exactly where in Skowhegan all of his artwork is. So I hope everyone gets a chance to go check out his work. It's pretty cool. So this week we're going to tell you how to do the Art Kits for All. And these are the Art Kits that we've been distributing. And um, we have to thank, um, we couldn't do this without the help of Colby College and Waterville Creates. We have some other sponsors as well. And we um, are also helped by the Waterville Public Schools, the Kenny Beck Montessori School, and uh, the Family Violence Project. So everyone's been working together really well to make this um, art kit a reality. So we hope you enjoy it. Um, and it would also be helpful to us if you really like doing these kits. We have um, a survey that would help us to know if we're um, putting together kits that you guys like or what your needs are. So please, it's a self-addressed stamp envelope here if you could fill out a survey for us, um, we would really appreciate that. All right, and so let me introduce our helpers. So we have my son, Connor. Hey. We have Megan. Then we have KK the bird and Cyrus Queer. And our favorite dog of the month <laughs> is Cyrus. And Cyrus and KK might pose for us for this project. All right, so All right. let's start with our kits. So today what we're gonna be making is a lion relief sculpture. Um, and this is in a similar style to Bernard Langley. So um, a relief, what we're gonna make, as I said before, relief is on a flat surface, but it's 
things are added to it so that it raises up and it pops out. Um, then it's really cool. It's very three-dimensional, but it's still on a flat surface. So that's what we're going to be making today. Um, Bernard, Bernard Langley used wood, but for this project, we're using cardboard. And I have some helpers today who are going to um, make uh, some kits as well. And what they're going to do is they, they're, uh, they've chosen, instead of the lion, which is what Bernard Langley loved because he was a Leo and his wife said he had crazy hair like a lion. Um, what um, Megan and Connor are going to do is they are going to choose to do um, a picture of our dog Cyrus. Cyrus, say hi. And our bird Kiki. I don't know why, that's kind of scary. Okay, so when you open up your art kits, you'll find your instructions and you will find all kinds of other information and the survey and this art kit also includes some markers crayons pencil and some glue the only thing this art kit doesn't have that you might need would be some scissors if you don't have scissors um, i'll show you a few tricks that we could use um, for maybe trying to tear the shapes. Um, if you are using scissors, uh, don't be afraid to ask for help from an adult if you need help with scissors. All right, so there are three different widths of small one. A large, medium, and a small square, okay? So you're gonna start your large piece, you're not gonna cut. This is gonna be the base of your sculpture. So you guys can take your large piece and lay it flat, and that's gonna be the background. Then you wanna take your medium-sized piece, and that's where you're gonna draw the shape of the face that you're gonna use. So all you're gonna do is draw the shape of the face that you want for your lion. If you need some pointers on the instructions, um, Lisa Wheeler's included instructions on how to draw a lion's head. So you can make any kind of shape that you want. So I'm just going to go with sort of an oval circle. So then what we're going to do is cut that out. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you is not only did Bernard Langley use a lot of wood, he also used found objects. So later, so, I would encourage you guys, you could use these things we can't recycle in Waterville. So if you had some old cereal boxes, you could cut parts of cereal boxes up for designs or even an animal crackers box. That would be cool since you're making animals. Now we can have fun doing the details. Details. Maybe think about when you're doing the eyes, you can think about um, what kind of mood your animal is in. Is he in a goofy mood like Cyrus? Or is he grumpy like our bird? Here you go, Mike. All right, so I have a couple of shapes now that I can use to make the nose. I could even make the ears out of these. has its own qualities. You can get a real sense of texture. Sometimes it's fun to peel the top layer back and then you have a cool texture as part of your sculpture. If you want, before you glue things down, you may want to cut everything out. I always sort of just start gluing. But some people might want to get all the pieces cut and arrange it. Megan doing gluing. She's gluing. Look at her glue.
my lion, but I think it looks more like Dutch the dog. This is Dutch, and he always looks kind of sad. So that one's mine. And now we'll look at Megan's. It's supposed to be Tay Tay. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And now let's look at Connor's. joining us. We hope that you have a lot of fun doing this activity. Don't forget to fill out the um, survey to send that back to us and also send us pictures. We want to see what you're doing. So feel free to take pictures or videos of your work and send it to us. So thank you very much.